Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Part Life Captain Albert Sakuch here, and we've got our 30 EXW here that we're going to be spooling up with the 80 pound tight line hollow core braid. I was debating between the red, white, and blue or the straight blue. Man, that's a tough one. That's real tough. Hmm. I think I got a, got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team I'm gonna go with the The blue Just cause it's so bold I love it I love both lines they, they, The tight line braid has really put out A crazy amount of awesome line But um, yesterday on one of the closing videos I was showing you or talking about the lugs as they come through right there you can kind of see what I'm talking about let's see let's do this so as I'm rubbing my finger here I don't feel I feel a little bit of edge on that nut right there and this one too but it's not to where it's stopping my finger it's just a little bit there so that's those are the four or six things you got to pay attention to when you're gonna spool a rail guys that's just something that we do second nature and I didn't really think about it until that one video. I was like, you know what, I need to talk about that. So whenever you're gonna spoil your reel at home, guys, make sure you pay attention to those and that's gonna really determine how much you can overfill your spool. You don't wanna be filling it up and be cutting your braid right there immediately because then it would be a waste of money. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the blue of the 80 pound tight line on here. And let's go ahead and get it rocking. So for those of y'all that are new to the channel guys, this is a spooling library where I just spool on line capacities on the reels in between filling up customers reels because when they call us, they want to know how much braid or line they can get of a certain weight class and if we don't have that in our books then we really need to know so that way when we want to quote them, they uh, can get a fair quote. So it really does help us out in the long run as well as our customers because when they are deciding what kind of line they want to get, if they follow us on the library or through our YouTube channel, they can get all that information before they even call and they can already pretty much make a good judgment call of which way they want to go. So right in here, right now here, obviously I'm not tying it, I'm not putting my splice on there, I'm not putting the anaconda knot that we designed here at Hard Life Bait and Tackle. To, to get the braid going but as right there like that just showing you no knot but how many times I've wrapped around it is giving it some, some tightness now granted you cannot leave it like that because it will eventually get loose and it'll it'll spin on the spool even completely filled we have a video where a customer was saying the the drag was messed up on a rail and it comes out that the knot wasn't even tied to the spool and completely filled up, we were able to pull line off the reel without it turning the clicker. As you can hear right now, I got the clicker engaged. See what I'm saying? So, but do not, like I said, if you want to tie braid straight to your spool, check out our Anaconda knot. We've got a video on that. And we got it multiple times. We even uh, labeled it uh, how to tie braid to your spool with no tape or no mono. That's a big one right there. So. Be sure to check it out, but we're going to go ahead and get this pulled up just for line capacity with the 80 pound, and we're going to see how it goes. So. All right, real quick, I'm gonna show you how the braid messed up right there. You see how it, it's gapped out a little bit, but it's real fine over here. I want y'all to pay attention to that, guys, because a lot of people ask, well, what's the real difference on hollow core braid compared to solid braid? Besides line capacity, besides abrasion resistance, besides splicing, there's so many other things, and right here, I'm gonna show you it while spooling. I mean, I even gapped it out right there to stop the reel, but you're gonna see how this all fixes itself. 
guys so right there you saw how I piled it up a little bit more I mean it was a good 330 seconds of an inch or maybe uh, an eighth of an inch of difference between this left side and I'm talking for me looking at a spool it'd be from your uh, bottom of the spool to the top this area here was really really bad like it was misshapen bad but now as you can see it's already come into flush and it's gonna stay flush like that you would have never been able to fix that kind of mess up on solid braid. It would have continued to push in and push in and push in to where all of it doesn't look uniform on there. And you can go back to my spooling videos within the library and check out the solid braid when it does that. There's no fixing it. But right here you see that it has fixed itself and will continue to, to stack on beautifully. <laughs> And right here, I got sidetracked. I didn't stop at the 100 yard mark, but this is 200 yards of 80 pound on this is EXW30. So very, very nice line capacity. There's 400 yards of 80 on there and still stacking on so beautifully on this reel. Like I said, guys, the line capacity difference is a major deal between the solid braid and the hollow core. And we're going to keep it, keep finding out how much it can go. <laughs> go 600 yards of 80 on this reel and this is where we're going to start stacking on line capacity watch <laughs> There's 800 yards, guys. This is so awesome. And look, the way I'm spooling it, I am guiding it with my thumb and my finger back uh, onto the reel because I'm putting my finger on both sides of the braid. And I'm holding it like that because I'm looking for any kind of imperfections in the braid before I actually would have sent it out with a customer. Right now, here, I am just doing it for line capacity, but I mean, if I could find any any mess ups in the braid now it would be a good thing so that way when I spool it onto a customer's reel you know it's already out of there or it's already been spliced and it's ready good to go so that way I don't have to stop again <laughs> guys there's 1,000 yards of 80 pound on this reel already like I said you know it's just not even that much of a space between the 600 yards 800 yards and a thousand yards so 
Let's, let's see how much we can get on there. go 1200 yards and I've still got space to put on there I'm probably gonna hit 1300 easily for a flush spool so, excuse me let's keep it rocking okay I didn't get 1300 because I'm already flush on this side and I'm flush on that side I'm at 1,286 yards for flush spool. So let me go get my pen and my notes so I can add that into our library. I am gonna start keeping hard copies now because I lost a lot of it uh, when my computer crashed a while back. So I'm gonna put 1,280 right there. <clears throat> Good there. Matt, oh, let me make it even. 1485. There we go. Alright, guys, so here we go. You can see through the spool on that side right there. And on this side as well. If I can get the right angle, because it's or maybe it's a little tighter. No, it's there. It's just gotta get the right angle. So yeah. And we're at 1,485 yards of line on this EXW30. It's 80 pound tight line braid. Very, very awesome. Now we gotta down spool it. For the next video, which will be 100 pounds, stay tuned. And if y'all haven't subscribed yet to the channel, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give us some thumbs up on some videos. Go through the library, learn some knowledge, and be awesome.